we got a very good, very big study that says neither vitamin D nor fish oil reduce the risk of cancer or heart disease. The good news is both the fish oil and the vitamin D were safe. There was no harm, but there was also no benefit. And so, you know, our advice to people would be not to routinely take either uh, unless there's a very good other reason to take these, these supplements. For the first time, we can really give doctors and their patients an expansive list of conditions to help make the idea of cardiac risk come alive. Since the 2013 guidelines were published, we have two new drugs uh, that are now available to doctors and patients who may need further reduction of cholesterol. We have new ideas about the assessment of risk and the inclusion of coronary artery calcium in certain patients. So I think all in all, these guidelines are taking us to the next level.